Hi guys, it's Leah or Alyssos and welcome back to another episode of my Fairy Core Let's Play. Before we get started, I'd just like to say thank you guys so much for the support on this series so far. I really hope you all are enjoying it so far. And to everyone who left a comment just saying how much they love this series, the mod pack, and also to those that have been really helpful and also left tips and suggestions for certain mods. Oh, and a few more things before we get started. A few of you guys actually asked me for the seed of this world and I just wanted to provide you guys with that. I did mean to give it last episode but I totally forgot but this is the seed down at the bottom and I'm gonna enlarge it on the screen. So Justin, this one is for you. Here's the seed. Thank you for reminding me. Also, real quickly, I just wanted to say that I actually turned on keep inventory and also started teleporting in the middle of this episode because I literally could not anymore. I was playing a little bit off camera and I just kept on dying and dying. It's just been so hard to progress or do anything without keep inventory because I keep losing my items, especially when we go into those mushroom places. It's just been very hard to progress with all the mobs that one shot us, so I hope you guys understand. But if anything changes, I'm gonna let you guys know. For today's episode, I would really like to work on the cave to get around easier. And I also want to get the food source going, like a little tiny farm. And also maybe like a backpack or something useful like that. I'm not too sure yet, but that is kind of my goal for the episode. Before we're able to build and tidy up the area, I do think a little bit of exploration is needed. Just because I don't actually have a lot of like blocks to work with. Okay, we are just going to break one of them and let's see what they look. Okay, so they're on the dark side of the red. So we're just going to take it. And we are gathering some saplings. Oh, they actually dropped cherries. Just because you can never go wrong with birch. Whoa, what is that? I want to check this out. I feel like this block is really cute. Oh no. <gasps> Wait, it's a spawner. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before I die. But I want to mark this up because... This is pretty close to my area, actually. This could lead to this. So, my cave is just across? Wait, why is that perfect? Okay, we're gonna mark this area for the skeleton spawner. Wait, I do see star bunkles in my, like, mini-map. I see one right here. And I just want to say thank you to Genja Ninja for letting me know that Star Bunkles actually want a gold nugget. And they do drop you a shard so that you could sh summon your own. But unfortunately, we don't have a gold right now. So yeah, I can't wait to tame them. I didn't realize like how many colored variations they have. They're very cute. Oh no. <gasps> oh my. Okay, you're so cute, but... I can't have you killing chickens. A skunk? A ferret? Ferret? I don't even know how to say that. Ferret or ferret? I'm not sure. Bees, a dryad. Oh, chickens, you better run. Like, actually. Oh! A silk cocoon actually drops rabbit hide and some other useful things. That's good to know because I actually really need those. And you, spider, you're gonna die. Oh no, stop. Oh gosh, gross. Ooh, a river log. Okay, I just want to see what it looks like. We're gonna... Try to take it. Okay, I actually really like that. It's like a brown color. Oh, they do drop saplings. Oh, and then we also have onions right here, which is perfect for my farm. We have a few saplings, and I do see some koi fish, which is actually my first time seeing them. I think they're really cute. They're just swimming around in this little area. Oh my gosh. Why is this like the most perfect like world? I just want to live in every biome that I'm finding. And I don't know about you guys, but do y'all see that ship up there? Because I feel like if I go up there, I'm going to die. So... Um... Let's try it. Is it this way? Is it the other way? Oh no. 
Wait, there's a downstairs area to this. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, wrong thing. What the heck? What is this? That's like a whole dungeon underground. Set foot in a catacomb? Excuse me, a catacomb? Okay, we're gonna put a waypoint for this catacomb. Oh no, what's killing me? Oh, not you. Oh my god, please. <laughs> please. Oh, I do not like going against this one. I'm so sorry to anyone who's getting dizzy because I am too. <gasps> no, what is that? Why do I hear something? Why do I hear something? Why do I hear something? What? 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 Oh. I literally think it's fine, but I don't even see her. Where is she? Okay. Okay. Frick off. Oh my god. Please. <sighs> Where even are you? It's the same thing we died to last episode, you guys. Like at the end. <gasps> There's two. There's two. There's two. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is... Oh no, why did I add this in the mod pack? Why did I add this mob in the mod pack? <gasps> okay, we can't fight her underwater. We can't. We just can't. Oh no, I might be screwed, you guys. We may or may not have lost her. I don't know, but those things are pretty damn scary. And I kind of wish they weren't in the mod pack, but they are. <laughs> um, so, it's fine. It's, it's literally okay. But we're just gonna go up here and i feel like at this point in time i almost want to have my inventory on just because like it's so easy to like afk or like not even be aware of like the map for a second and you just die so okay anyway moving on this area is all lavender fields but later on i'm gonna come back to this little village here and also the blimp as well as the catacomb but obviously we're nowhere near equipped for any of these things so as much as possible i want to try and get like enchantments and stuff going just so we at least have something to defend ourselves. oh look at this what the heck what in the world is this this is so pretty what I also see purple trees over there, which I definitely want to look at, but oh my gosh. I don't know what all of this is, but it is so cool. Waypoint here and just put like a cool castle. I have no clue what this is for. If anybody knows, let me know because I'm trying to do this one day, but I just... It seems like there's a lot of mobs inside, so... This is definitely not something I'm gonna be able to do anytime soon. This makes it look even cooler. It's like above this like weird place. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got two saplings for this yellow tree. And oh my god, there's just so many things I would like to collect. But I need to make space for this purple tree. I really, really want it. And oh my god, it's Shiva. I didn't even realize we had dogs on this. Hello, a Valkyrie. Oh, she's nice. Okay, we're not gonna mess with her. What mod are you from? Quark. Okay. I didn't know Quark had dogs now, but that is really good to know. And oh, a cute little area here. But I'm just gonna gather this tree and then we'll see what else we could do. It did it. It did drop a sapling, but I want to try to get as many as I can. They're getting a little too close. Oh my gosh. They're getting a little too close for my liking, but... We're gonna do this tree over here, even though I wasn't finished with that tree. Just because I don't really trust those pillagers. Oh no. Okay, now I gotta go because these ants are after me and I don't understand why. Are and there's like so many cool creatures that I keep seeing that I haven't even like looked at. Just because of how scared I am. I'm like paranoid, bro. But it's... Oh no, it's you guys. But it's this creature right here. It's a griff... Oh no, I don't want to look at you. Oh my god, I got mad. I can't tell if it's friendly or not. And these things I thought were friendly. 
Wait, are they? I cannot tell because there were some that were attacking me. Listen up. I decided to just go home because that is enough exploring for me today. That was honestly so overwhelming and I just... It is so hard to go out there, you guys. So now I'm just going to terraform this area and I'll show you guys what I end up doing. If you saw that, no you didn't. <laughs> okay, I didn't really mean to hurt him. I literally thought it was a zombie sneaking up on me, so that's why I hit him. Because he ran at me like that, but I swear I didn't want to kill him. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I've actually worked on the area quite a bit. If I'm working on something for a little too long, I'm just going to show you guys me working on it by little bits because it does take me a long time to record and obviously do those things. We are actually cooking up some cod because we are seriously like really low on food. So I don't know why this cave is actually made of clay, but it is. Um, I want to try to replace a lot of the parts with stone, so I did make the pond here bigger. And I also replaced, um, instead of using just like regular stone, I'm going to use um, this thing called sheared cobblestone, I think. Just because it looks a lot better, it gives the stone texture. So it would be this, this is how it would look like instead of something like this i mean they sort of look the same but this is darker which i really like so i figured i would use it to give the area texture and for these like little um layers of the water i'm gonna replace the clay with them as well and yeah and then another thing i worked on was this little hole opening and i kind of want to make my starter um little area here i figured since i'm kind of like this tiny fairy in this big world slash cave i would kind of make it like tinkerbell where the fairies are visibly you know really tiny and the objects are bigger than them so i'm thinking of making kind of like a house teapot and like a flower like garden and some other like tiny objects like that i will definitely do mushrooms but there's going to be different parts for different things and i think that would be really cute i'm very excited for the teapot i feel like that would be a cute build when i work on it but for one of them i'm just going to make like a few hobbits all around but the first one will be right here and it's going to be where my main items are i planted this tree and i also started working on um, a way to get back up and down, but it's kind of far. Um, I still don't have a way to get to it, but I started here in this middle area. Um, I'm gonna have like a walkway here when I expand it, and it's gonna have little tiny houses and farms and all sorts of stuff. And it just leads to the upstairs, but it's nothing too fancy. It's just a little stairway, and I think. Yeah, this is where we kind of can see everything. So for now, I'm not really going to do anything with this, but it's just a way for us to get down and up. I think since our first hobbit hole is right here, I might do this staircase kind of going up here. Anyways, I'm just going to work on that really quickly. And once I have a little bit more progress with that, I will get back to you guys. Hi there. So I finally have some updates now. And since the last clip, I have been working on the area and it's looking a lot better now. So obviously I took out some crystals and I also added the stairs, but the pink crystals around it is temporary i just kind of wanted it for protection for now 
and also um, I replaced a lot of the layers here and I think it looks really really good. Ooh, there's a wandering baker here. What? Okay, we're gonna kill this guy. I've, I've actually um, killed a few pillagers around here because for some reason they started to spawn, but... I did die a lot, so there's that. <laughs> I just ate the last of my food, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this kind of cobblestone instead of regular stone. Um, when I have the chance and finally have the materials, I'm definitely gonna mix them up. So I started working more in my tiny starter hobbit hole. Um, it looks really spacious here and we could even expand it sideways. Also, this thing is just like a little cave entrance and one of them actually leads to the to like a spawner. I'm not sure what kind of spawner it is, but it's just very easy to like access it that way. So I'm really glad there's a spawner by that area. And yeah, other than that, I've just been clearing out the area, planting different kinds of trees like this yellow and purple one. And when we go upstairs, this is what it looks like. Um, obviously, we have a long way to go. And honestly, if I could, I wish I could just have all the terraforming done this episode. But I don't have access to pretty good tools. So yeah, and then when we come up here, I also planted this tree. Which is for sure gonna get removed because it's kind of in the way of the stairs. But that's okay. I think it's looking good so far. I really like it. And I really want to make that little pond over there axolotl safe anyway with that being said the next thing that i want to work on is actually to get a farm going i don't know if i should start with these like hopper pots because i don't exactly have the place to make a farm right now um so maybe i'll put that in my recipe list and then we can kind of go i already have some of the crops ready to be planted over here I put it in this barrel. They're very basic, so I actually wanted to go into the mushroom village that we first saw and kind of try to loot that area, but I'm gonna make a sword first, which is, I think, this one. I wanna go here so that we could um, overtake this first mushroom village and try to get some of its crops, so I guess we could just go there. Oh, I forgot how pretty spawn is, but yeah, I'm just gonna head to the mushroom because... There's still some stuff. And like I said, I do have keep inventory on now, so I don't care anymore. I've died so many times in this series on and off camera that it's like unbearable and like hard to make progress. So I'm actually just gonna like fully loot this place. And we'll even take these copper blocks so that we could build with them. Okay, I'm trying so hard to be mindful of what I'm gonna take, but I'm just gonna keep teleporting back and forth because just one house worth of loot is like my whole inventory. So this is pretty crazy, but let me just do that. And I think, I think this one, we already have this book, so we don't need it. Ooh, this chest actually has a few different foods, which I'm going to take. Okay, I just went back home really quickly, but I'm gonna put all this stuff away so that we could get more. Bro, you good? <laughs> and I'm gonna put literally everything in there except maybe my pickaxe and that should be good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to decorate this area with mushroom heads. And now we go back to this house. So this is the one I was just looting. Oh, wait. They're spawning up there. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of scared, but... That's fine. Okay. Oh! <laughs> he got baited. There's so many cows out here, which is perfect. Because I actually need all the leather I can get. Ooh, this one is a covered entrance, so I don't think I've ever been here, but okay This has a bunch of things as well that we could take. Okay. I'm also taking like these um, spruce trap doors and fences Oh my gosh, I didn't realize this is the player head Okay Whoa, this is so pretty. Why do I kind of want all these blocks at my house? Hmm it just looks really cute, but I'll come back for all of that later when I actually have 
the area to work on that. But there looks to be like a meteor here, so we're definitely gonna come back. And I think this one is like a different structure, but we're just gonna take what they have here. Oh, there's still the group of fairies here. Hello. I really like them. Maybe I'll tame them once I get the chance. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the building itself. I found this entrance. But I did break like a few spawners in here, but um, I'm not sure if there's any more because I think a lot of them are still spawning. <gasps> Wait, we hit the jackpot, you guys. This is like a bunch of different foods, but I need to work on my inventory first. Thankfully, we are getting all these books because, you know, we don't have to actually craft them. Oh, there's some piglin root here. Oh. Oh no. Oh. We'll pretend like that didn't just happen. Dude, I don't understand. I think these spawners come with like cows because so many cows spawn here. And we actually really need cows. So this is like perfect. Anyways, let me get these and also these. And oh, wait, we got our diamonds. Let's go. Okay, we're just gonna break this. That's literally our first diamonds. Perfect. That also came with a bunch of other cool things. And honestly, I'm just excited about the food. And you, sir, you need to die. <gasps> um, you see what I mean? This is why I have keep inventory on now. Because I literally, I just get one-shotted. It's not even funny at this point. It's bad. And wait. Oh my god, for a second I thought this was a netherite sword. I got so excited. But it's an iron sword, which has some enchantments. So, should be good enough. Okay, we're actually going to try out this sword. Maybe it's good against these enemies. I don't know. But I don't see anything else here. Um, this looks to be like some sort of like furnace. I think that should be it for this area. Two more enemies are spawning. Ah, we traded. Okay, let me get these as well. Um, ooh, hoppers I actually need this. Wait, now that we got these, we might actually be able to make the the hopper pots then because then I wouldn't need to craft the hoppers. So maybe we'll make our farm with that. And of course, the chest with a bunch of things in it, which I really don't have space for. So we have to come back again. Wow, we really demolished this village so far, but it's fine. It is filled with bad things, so... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Let me, let me run real quick. I just literally need to grab this chest and I should be out of here. I think... Yep. And yeah, I think that should be everything. Um, I do want to come back for some things. There's a bird stuck up there. But I do want to come back for blocks that I want to use later on. But that's basically all I wanted to get from here. Oh my god. This piglin is suicidal! Oh my- Okay. Well. Well. Wow, those piglins are crazy. I'm gonna take some of these flowers as well because my area can really use it. Oh no. Oh no. I pulled up to the wrong neighborhood. Oh my gosh, please. Not that thing. It's too scary. Ooh, we got a Zongzi leaf. For a tea, I think. Um, and I'm also gonna take some of these flowers because they're very pretty, like these um pink daffodil ones. They used to be my favorite Minecraft flowers in modded Minecraft. 
Wait, all of these flowers that I'm getting are actually like basically all my favorite because this one is the Lily of the Valley, which is probably like top three of my favorite Minecraft flowers. So Ooh, while we're here, I'm going to go and get some sand too, just because we actually could use some of these and I'm sure we're going to need some glass paint. That should be good. I actually see a ship over here. I don't know if I should do it now. Well, we have a pretty full inventory, so we're gonna come back for that another time. Okay, and that should be everything. I'm just gonna organize some of the foods that I wanna plant and also craft a couple of these hopper pots because we do have a ton of terracotta because we have a ton of clay. So I'm just gonna work on that and I'll get right back to you guys. You guys, I'm really sorry, but. I was just about to craft this like pink glazed terracotta and look at how cute the pink dye looks. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Anyway, let's just get on with crafting this. This is the one I'm trying to make, so when it's done, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, I did sort my stuff out and I do have more wheat seeds and potato to plant. And we do have more foods now, which is great. So while this pink glazed terracotta is cooking, I figured I could actually make myself a backpack. I feel like in the modded world, it is just a must. And we only need chest, leather, as well as string, which we should have all of them if I'm not mistaken. We'll do it with this cherry chest. Um, and let's see if we are able to do it like this. Yes, we finally have a backpack now. And there's actually another variant which is for quark, but I wanted to try it out and see the difference. So we'll do the quark backpack as well. Wait, I realize I can't even make this one because you actually need the, um, the ravager hide, which is going to take a while for me to get. So we'll deal with that later. And I also got these like boomerangs from pillagers and I'm kind of afraid to use it, but I think it would be good if we did. I already have two hoppers, but I do want to make plenty of these plant hoppers. So we will actually work on a few more. Maybe like six should be enough. Like so. And then we'll do another one. Like so. And now we should have eight hoppers. Okay, we also got this chalk, which lets you ride on the ground. So this is going to be useful for mining. But I think it also allows us to dye our backpack, if I'm not mistaken. I could have swore it did. <gasps> yes, it does! Wait, I don't know how that works. Let's see. Let's try it here, maybe. No. Dang it, it doesn't actually do it for some reason. No, that would have been perfect, but it's totally fine. We can actually dye it ourselves. Um, we do have more peonies, so we could just make it pink and do that. And perfect. And lastly, something we need for our hoppers are these flower pots. And while I do have two, that's not going to be enough. So we are cooking up some more bricks. Okay, while that's cooking, I did want to find an area to put our little tiny farm going. And honestly, I don't know where to put it now that I'm thinking about it. No, actually, I don't want our starter farm to be hidden. I think we'll put it somewhere here in the middle. Like here, maybe? This. No, that's gonna kind of cover the pathway though. So maybe we could do something kind of like flower beds almost. Like that. And I think that should be enough for all of them. Okay, we should actually have enough to craft eight of them, which here you go, we have eight. Now you're growing with hoppers. Get a hopper botany pot. Yes. So this one, oh, actually, instead of that, we actually are going to need um, a few barrels. I'm actually going to get rid of this dirt because we actually have to replace them with barrels like this. And you guys are going to see why in a second. It's a really cool, like idea these hopper pots um and basically when you place them like this whatever is in the pots will actually transfer into the barrel which is really cool this is just like a really beginner friendly kind of like farm which i really like and we actually don't need these trap doors because they actually look the same <laughs> um so I'm going to get rid of some of them and kind of just use it for texture. 
since you know they do look the same um so we'll do that 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 yeah this should be our starter farm now we just put the kind of soil they require and they should be working so here let's do wheat then our potato of course our sugar canes and they actually grow and you can actually physically see them growing like that it's so cool this will also be dirt and let's try to put an onion yes perfect and i'm not sure if this one will work it is the grapevine or something it's this one it's in this one um i'm not sure if these ones will work but we're gonna test it out because it could be incompatible with some mods so we're gonna see if grape seeds will work as well as tea leaves our tea seeds and flax seeds so let's see try them out if they don't work it's totally fine but yeah this one is not compatible this one <gasps> yay the tea seeds work and the flax seed also works so this is perfect we just need one more thing to put in here but i don't really know what it wouldn't hurt to grow extra set of potatoes because they're the easiest foods to make and once we have like carrots we'll replace them but i'm gonna show you guys once they start growing plants and it's gonna be filled up and you guys will be able to see them that's our tiny little starter farm i definitely will be putting bigger crops around and kind of like fields of like crops so don't worry guys this is just like a starter and oh my gosh these take forever to grow by the way i just want to make it clear that this won't be our only area that we're gonna work on this is kind of just like where my starter base will be and along with the mods that we get into we're gonna build different areas for different places so we're gonna utilize basically everything so basically this is the area i'm living in now and we're gonna move on to the next cave as well as like the other pretty biomes around us we're gonna utilize everything we're gonna utilize all the mods as well as all our like biomes that we have so don't you guys worry this is just a part of it and i'm just really happy we got backpacks now oh actually i want to plant this bamboo around just so we have a bit more nature going because i'm not gonna lie i kind of did get rid of all the nature here but it's fine we're gonna plant things back and we're gonna make it look prettier so we're gonna plant some of these bamboo that's basically the main things that i wanted to do for today's episode um you guys if you hear any noises no you didn't i'm just kidding but if you guys hear anything it's because they're doing um like a tree cutting right outside our house because because this big tree fell <laughs> oh it's so bad but uh, i just wanted to show you guys what i did i added cute little leaves and the bamboos are all grown out which is very pretty and i also <laughs> also made these botany pots because i'm gonna be putting saplings on them so we could actually grow our own wood oh and also these crops over here have actually been growing like crazy and we now have a bunch of different crops like potatoes our sugar canes beetroot and also a bunch of fiber oh hello um and i've come to realize that these goblin traders even if they leave they will always come back because we are living in a lush cave so they come here pretty often so i've been trading with them here and there and Later on, we're going to be able to trade lots with the goblins. I actually tried to trap them, but it doesn't exactly work because they are like wandering traders. So they will disappear. But yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. So the purple trees don't work on the hopper pots, but it is okay because for now I'm going to grow birch as well as this like river sapling one because I really like how they look. But that is all the updates I have for you guys. I think I'm actually going to grab a stack of potatoes from my farm. And I'm going to cook them up. Also, if anybody knows how to grow these jasmine from Cozy Foods, let me know. Because I would really like to use them for food source.
So this is what it turned out looking like. There's just a bunch of leaves and I also added more nature around the area like the leaves and I also planted more trees again but over here when we come in you know there's still a lot of things we need to work on so there's not a lot going on on the inside of this but I'm gonna move all my chests over there to here I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it but I'm gonna work on that off camera and I might also expand some of the walls I want to try to make them either like wood or maybe we could make wallpapers. I know that we have wallpapers here like these. So I feel like they could be cute, you know, for like an inside cave home. And I think it looks really cute. I really like to make hobbit houses. I feel like it's been a habit of mine for like a long time. Um, ever since I started doing series with Angel but this looks really cute I think aside from that I haven't been doing much I've just been growing the trees as well as my crops and I also replaced um, this potato one with strawberry seeds so we actually have like strawberries and I'm so excited but yeah, that's basically the main thing that I wanted to do for my little shelter. It's obviously not going to be my permanent home, but it's there for us to sleep safely at night in. Anyways, there's one more thing I actually wanted to do for today's episode, and that is to go back to those pillager towers. Spinosaurus fans said the small tower with slime balls and barrels you encountered has a slime girl trapped in it. She's a pretty strong ally against mobs that are not bigger than two blocks as she can consume them. You can tame this one with slime balls. So I do have the slime ball spready and I want to test this out because it looked really cool but I'm also scared of going there. So let's just see where it's at on the map. Oh, it's a deer. Okay, so these towers, there's actually two towers from what i remember um let me just have a little look around yeah so there's one here and there's one up there and oh my gosh okay let's just do this one S slime spawner a fletching table and a witch spawner okay we're just gonna back off of that one a pillager okay hello slime girl okay Let's see if we could tame her. <gasps> you learned how to draw a heart with a chalk. Tame an animal. Oh, she's considered an animal. Hello. <gasps> Wait, she's so cute. Are you kidding me? Try to break her out. I think that's what we're gonna do. And hopefully she follows me because it doesn't look like she's following. Oh, okay, following. Okay, follow me. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's about to eat them. <gasps> oh. oh. Okay, I was not ready for this, not gonna lie. She literally swallowed them. <gasps> Wait, this is so fun. Slime girl, help! <laughs> I think she's stuck. Okay, there. <gasps> she's so cool. You guys, she just got us like a whole like inventory hats worth of loot. What the heck? Wait, she's awesome. Are you kidding me? Swallow that witch! <gasps> oh no. Guys, I died. <gasps> Wait, she's here! <gasps> Hi! Oh my gosh, she's my new favorite thing. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we could have her come along with us so she could meet her sister or something. Um, over here. Um, and we're gonna go to this one. Come on, girl. Oh. Okay, she's going towards that tower. Wait, we actually could have three of them. Stop. Wait. <laughs> At least we have spawners if we need it. Okay, now we have our second slime girl. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. 
They're so cute, dude. Okay. I'm gonna need three name suggestions. We could actually have a fourth one. Hold up. Okay. Which I'm not mad about. I'm literally gonna tame all of them. I'm sorry, but it's gonna happen. Hello, this is my third slime girl. Okay, now on to the third slime girl. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Pillagers? Pull up, pull up, pillagers. Like, literally pull up. Guys, you <laughs> attacked them. Dude, oh, you're my favorite. She literally, like, got tamed with one slime. I guess I can't tame that spoiling, but we do have four slime girls on our team, so I'm not complaining about much. I'm just happy that I have them. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if this would hit the wreck. Oh no. Slime girls. <laughs> Wait, this is messed up. I'm so sorry. That was. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Guys, this is pretty crazy. Okay, I had to take screenshots of them. But, um,. We have four slime girls to name. I don't know what to name them. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below what you guys think I should name them. They're very, very cute. They clearly love me. Okay, I think that's it for this area, if I'm not mistaken. There's actually a few more towers around the house from what I see around the minimap. But we're probably not going to tame every single one. I actually see a fifth tower here, but... I think four is enough for now. I don't even have the name tags for all of them. So we're gonna go home. This panda. We're gonna come back for you, panda. Oh, oh slime girls attack! Oh, oh my god, that was satisfying. That was... <laughs> yeah, take that, pillager. And yeah, thank you so much, Espinosaurus, for letting me know about these slime girls. They're literally my favorite thing now. Oh, before we go home, I'm actually gonna take some of the spruce log because we do not have any spruce saplings. Okay, this last slime girl won't follow me back home, so we're gonna try to teleport like this. <gasps> oh, that actually works. Okay, nice. We don't have enough name tags, but there's just more reasons for us to go out and explore some dungeons. So yeah, please leave your name suggestions down below for each slime girl. And before we end today's episode, I still would like to open these hat grabs. Anyway, let's just open these hat grabs. And the first one we got is this DQ lips. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty funny, but I wouldn't personally wear it. Okay, and this next one is the Pope hat. Wait, why is this actually kind of cute? And this spare hat grab. Oh, <gasps> stop it. It's a baby snowman. <laughs> and our epic hat grab bag is... <gasps> Whoa, it's a dragon skull. What? Oh, that is so sick. Oh my gosh, wait. I definitely would like to start a hat collection at some point because this is so cool. I love getting like little collectible items like this in game. So we're definitely gonna start one. We actually have a couple of more hat grabs. So let's keep opening them. And this one is a straight up cheese slice. I don't know. Hoggers? What? It what? Oh, it's making like a shocked face, but it's not aligning with my skin. So that one kind of flopped. Okay, and our for real last one, our last hat grab. Please give me something cute. Okay, let's see. <gasps> a fin hood. Wait. Oh, that is adorable. <gasps> Wait. Okay, okay. Sorry. I just got excited, but that is perfect. I love it. I think we got pretty good hats today. Let me know your guys' favorite one. Definitely not the cheese for me, though. I think it's between this one and this one. 
And I mean, these are all pretty good. They're pretty funny and cute. So I will definitely take it. Well, that is it for today's episode of my fairy core let's play. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has shown support towards the series so far. Even though it's only been the first episode, the support has just been insane. And I'm so grateful for everyone that have been leaving comments and just overall supporting my channel. Thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye One eyes closed, I'm slowly falling to the music and the atmosphere now and then